coffee for Penelope. She's a 1983. When you know friends from the Netherlands, bad, bad, I'm Penelope. And I'm sticking pictures and badges of design. Penelope loves driving until the end of time. If you like a vibe, please subscribe, please subscribe. We are Petra and Patrick. We have been living in our camper van Penelope for five years. In this five part mini series, we look back at each year of us living in a camper van as a couple. In this episode, we reflect on our fourth year of van life. One of the most important goals is we have to get Penelope checked. Her MOT or yeah, MOT is coming up. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> We're already living the life mm -hmm. of a free nomad. Yep. We're living as free as you can mm -hmm. here in Portugal and it's awesome. Yep. But we still have the ball and chain of being uh, forced to hook up to electricity. Yep. So mm -hmm. the solar panel will be on the list yep. because if we want to explore more of Europe, mm -hmm. we will need to be more power independent. With, with solar panels we could be uploading a video and having the laptops charged up. Mm -hmm. We yep. could be having the camera batteries charged up. Yep. And we really miss it. So to mm. get more freedom, we really need a solar panel. So that are the goals for 2019. Yep. Getting Penelope uh, through the checkup yep. for two more years mm -hmm. and getting a solar panel. In the previous episode, we had just reached Portugal. So we start off the year 2019 by spending our first winter as RV snowbirds in the south of Portugal in an area called the Algarve. 
We entered Portugal from the north and slowly made our way south. We did not have a solar panel yet at the time, so we had to plan our route carefully, driving from one free motorhome parking with free electricity to the next. Luckily, Europe is filled with free parking spots for camper vans and motorhomes. So that is how we managed to keep our traveling costs to a minimum. Thanks to the free camper parkings, you do not need to be a millionaire to travel Europe in a van. Spending our winter van life in Portugal was by far the best decision we ever made. Not only was it nice and warm there, but we also met the most amazing and interesting people, of which many had YouTube channels. We met fellow YouTube van lifers Gerhard. I'm fine, I'm very good, thanks. You're from uh, Germany? I'm from Germany, yeah. And, and I'm on the road now for two months. Yeah. Only two months, but I'm going on. And interestingly, you told me that yeah. you bought, uh, because people always say never buy a camper on eBay, but you have done that. Yes, <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> I didn't saw the, the camper before, I bought mm -hmm. it on eBay, because um, I was a little bit in a hurry. Um, I quit my rent, and so I have to leave, and I bought mm -hmm. this. Um, yeah, it was old, ugly, still old and mm -hmm. ugly, but it's it's working. Yeah, and it brought you here huh? in the, in Portugal. I'm here. Now I'm here, and 3,500 uh, kilometers. Yeah, you were in the same situation, kind of that we had. We also quit rent, mm -hmm. and then you just have to buy a van, <laughs> and you also have the scooter with you. Yes, because yeah. I'm not that good with my feet and I cannot walk that much and not, not far away. Um, so it's good to have a scooter. Um, so I'm able to go a few kilometers somewhere mm -hmm. and to do some shopping. Yeah. So you see, if there's a will, there's a way. Huh? Yeah, you, 100%. You can do it. So yes, if you want to do this, yeah. do this. Yeah. And you can do this, whatever, uh, whatever you are your kind of uh, situation is. Yeah, people often say I have to wait two years, three years, save money. What would you say to those people? I would say do this when you're ready for this. Um, it's, it's difficult to say it for other people because they have a, a different mind, a different way of thinking and I say, do this when you're ready. Most of the people are never ready. They only think about. But for these who are afraid to do this, mm. only only being afraid, but they want, don't be afraid, do this. Do what you can't. Do what you can't. Yeah. And then you'll be surprised. You will be surprised what you can. Yeah, yeah. exactly. John. Hello. I thought I'd bring my... Uh, camera to film my good friend. Yeah! Hello! Yeah. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Fine! We're invited, so uh, invited to coffee. Yeah! Wow! This is how French nice. people make coffee. <laughs> with an Italian uh, device. Wow. <laughs> you are very welcome with an orange van in the Netherlands because it, the royal family is the family of orange. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to, to visit Netherlands. Uh, uh, not right now because it's too cold for me. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'd like to, so uh, great! <laughs> yes, yeah, your name is John and yeah. you've been on the road for... Yeah. Uh, Not for a long time, um, I bought my van uh, less than one year in May and uh, I built it uh, since I bought it and I'm on the road for real uh, since September, mm. so um, uh, in summer it was the like a warm up. <laughs> Sorry, my English is not great, but um, it's better than mine. I, as no. you see, we, we look alike. Eh? We we are twins. <laughs> twins. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm on the road uh, since September, and uh, yeah. it's not finished yet, but 
It's okay. Uh, I'm happy to live in. It's a small uh, Renault. What's the exact? It's the smallest uh, Renault traffic, and, uh, uh, and uh, it's a uh, 1984 Renault mm -hmm. traffic, the smallest, but the, not the, the, the. It's a bit higher. Uh, L1 H2. Yeah, and it's a workman's van, eh? so people think you're a workman. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we do van life, of course. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I don't work. We I'm don't too work. lazy for that. <laughs> <laughs> and you built uh, it yourself, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a non made. Um, it's customized for you. Yeah, I, I, I don't need a lot of stuff, and but I want it uh, um, solid, or strong. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. uh, because I, I'm fat, I, I need a, a strong bed, so I made it with a kitchen um, uh, workbench. Is yes, it? a workbench. And so nothing moved. <laughs> yeah. I need a lot of electricity because uh, I make apnea mm -hmm. uh, during I sleep. Yeah. So I have this uh, machine uh, with my mask. So that's why I have uh, two batteries. Uh, and a solar panel. So I, I'm into computers, and my last job, uh, I, I was owner of, uh, of a computer store. Uh, but uh, yes, that's why it was great. I, I earned money, but money don't doesn't make happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So now I'm not rich, rich at all, <laughs> and I, I, with the money I, it left, I can buy my yeah. van. Yeah, make it, make yeah. it. And now uh, I I work uh, on the road. Uh, I have my YouTube channel like you, and I try mm -hmm. to live with it. Yeah. Um, it make it makes me happy. Yeah. And my garden is the biggest garden of the yes, world. Yes, yes. This is your view, eh? Yeah. Every and I, day and I should be happy uh, everywhere. I meet people uh, like you, Patrick. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I'm very happy to 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 meet you. Uh, and Petra, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, an advice? Yes, just live your life and don't care about people tell you. Uh, yeah. Be happy. Pierre. Yeah. Amber and Kessa. <laughs> Amber and Kessa. <laughs> Yes. Yes, we've yeah. been neighbors now for a long time, huh? Yeah, long yeah. time. <laughs> two months? Three months? Almost, it, yeah. It Almost two months, three months? Yeah. November, yes. November, no? It feels like uh, we know each other a very long time. Yes, we do. Not three months, but 30 years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But excuse me, I don't speak here because I don't speak well English. <laughs> we think you speak yeah. better English than we do sometimes. <laughs> so you are both uh, creative, as we can yes. see. You yes. are. What are you making uh, today? Um, it's a part of um, of a bag, yeah, and, and uh, it is uh, a crochet Tunisian. Ah. Tunisian crochet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Up. Okay. And Kessa, you um, you speak very good English. Oh, thank you. And very good French. Of course. <laughs> but you are from Germany originally. I'm German, yes. I was born in Berlin a long time ago. Very long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I left uh, Germany in uh, 1990 ah. and to live in France, to go to France. And I have been in France uh, till uh, July uh, uh, 2017, yes, July ah. 2017. And now I'm full time over my camper van and yeah. I'm happy with yeah. this. I don't want to change anything yeah. in my life. <laughs> and Amber? For you the, huh, the same? You, uh, yes. you When did you start with the camper? <laughs> I start um, since uh, March. Since March. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> yes. And what are you making? You're also creative. I try to um, to do um, a pullover. Ah. It's the, the no? I Back. do with the tricot and the crochet. Ah. Tricot is right? knitting. Yes. And knitting. I do this like mm -hmm. that with the crochet. Yeah. Ah. It's my first time. Oh, first time. <laughs> yes. 
In, it's my first time for a lot of things uh -huh, in this yeah. life. Yeah. And the new life. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time I full, I'm, I'm full timer on, on my motorhome. Yeah, but you also uh, are a writer. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I I prefer yeah. <laughs> ride and this, <laughs> but I like them. You like the, every the, the creative and the, yeah. Yes, and, and I like a lot um, to paint ah. on the paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You I wrote a new book eh, recently. Yes, I write uh, books and for the people, for the for the travel, for the hill, feel good. Mm. I try to do this. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Excuse my English. <laughs> no, it's very, <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> so it's it's very uh, because a lot of people who live the RV life and uh, are men. Yes. <laughs> and now we not only have one woman but two women doing it. <laughs> So that is very special. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of women they think they cannot. Mm -hmm. huh? Maybe they yeah. think they cannot yes, do it. No. Do you have some advice on this or some insights? But uh, a lot of uh, women think it's a problem because we are women. Mm -hmm. But it's wrong. It's wrong. We we don't need uh, to be strong to to live on the motorhome. We we need um, the l'envie um, to hope really this life. Well, you do all to live this life. It's not a dream. It's uh, in in my heart uh, to live like this. It's not my my strong uh, attitude or order. I'm not strong, <laughs> and I don't know nothing on mechanic, on electricity. I don't know nothing, but I'm, you're I'm here. happy. You're and happy. You're and, here. and um, yeah. I found always uh, a people to help me ah. in this life. Yes, it's very important. I, I found this in this new life. Yes, I found always one people to help me. And uh, we had the same experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we also have no mechanical knowledge and we had a lot of help from strangers. Yes. And uh, the kindness of strangers has surprised us always yeah. in the yeah. in this fan life. Everybody yeah. is here, mm. wants to help each other. It's a yeah. good um, découverte, comme on dit découverte? Discover. Mm. Discover for yeah. the humanity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We found uh, the humanity mm. in this life. Yes, mm. and I like you this. Mm. <laughs> we start uh, again to believe in humanity. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And if you can live with very less things in your life, you can concentrate on other things, on people, on mm -hmm. kindness, on, mm. on talking to other people. I'm happy because I don't need to buy something. Yeah. And that makes me happy. <laughs> it's crazy, but that makes me happy. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know what? Do you understand yeah. what I need? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have more time to talk to people, to, to, uh, to eat, to drink, have a drink, uh, yeah. have a meal, uh, help, something else. Not, not, yeah. not important. Yeah. To, to, uh, to do this also. Yeah. And you know each other before yes yeah in your old life yes, yes. oh yes uh, we lived in bordeaux in this in the old city center of bordeaux and uh, amber she had um um how do, i don't know how to say uh, bien, bien -être, uh, wellness, wellness awareness yeah. center she had a wellness center <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i stopped smoking just some months before before and ah. i <laughs> like uh, an Amber she, in in her wellness center, uh, she offered uh, special coaching mm -hmm. to uh, mm -hmm. to, like to uh, yes to to, uh, to lose weight. Ah. and so we know each other. Ah, so if you look at Amber now uh, and compare it with before, do you see? Uh, it's, a, it's a big difference. Oh. Yes, yeah? it's a big difference. Yes, oh, of course. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, she's uh, she's uh, she slowed down. 
She slowed down. She's uh, she's better now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's better now. <laughs> and Am Amber, you know Krisha from before, <laughs> oh, yes. and you know her now. Okay, do what changed? Have you oh. noticed? Uh, oh, she was very stressed. Yeah. She was very nervous. Mm -hmm. She was very um, odd with herself. Mm. And uh, it's for me it's very important because uh, she was very very odd for herself. Mm. Yeah. And I try to. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's um, she's younger now. now. She's yeah. she's more quiet. She's more zen attitude. Mm -hmm. she's, uh, mm. And smi with the smile, smile. Mm. Oh, well. Yes, because you smile every day, and <laughs> yes. we we too. I love it. Uh, we we also. Yes. yes. We before Petra uh, did not smile for one year. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's possible. Mm. It's possible. Mm. Is it possible? Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we were in the welfare system. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was a very yeah. hard year, mm -hmm. and yeah. then, yeah. and then I said, I want Petra to smile again. Mm -hmm. And the only times Petra smiled was when we were traveling. Okay. And then we knew what we had to do. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 And and that was yeah. more important than uh, jobs and money yeah. and yeah. and staying in a house. Eh? It mm -hmm. was. It's all about smiling mm -hmm. again, yeah. and we see that. And you too, mm -hmm. every day when we see each other, we're happy, we're, we're yeah. smiling. Yes, but I, I think you, 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 we win the smile every mm. day, every time, because we, we have a very hard life before. Yeah. yeah. It's only a, a war um, before myself. Mm -hmm. I, you, do you understand? It's like guerre contre soi-même. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a war or against yourself. Oh, so you, mm -hmm. um, every day I, I say, oh, I stay on my nervous life, mm. wrong life, and oh, I, I, I move my life. I, mm. I do the choice. Mm. Not easy. It's no. not the lucky. Mm. It's not easy. It's a, it's a war yeah. for myself. Unlike uh, that, I like you uh, now, but uh, it, it was not easy. No, because the whole your old life in your old life, you only worked for other people. Yes. Yeah. You have been present only for other people, and nearly never for you yourself yes. and you alone. Yes. It's the so it was first. very important for you yes. to leave this life and to start thinking only of you and your wellness and your life. Mm. It's the first time yeah. who I live for first myself. First time, yes. Yeah. It's yes. my first time. Yeah. Well, I'm old. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have uh, 56 years in a few weeks. Ah. Well, uh, and it's my first time alone. I live for myself, mm -hmm. only myself. And off camera, even more great people, all sharing the same passion for the RV lifestyle. We stayed for months and it felt like it would never end. Eventually we had to return home to the Netherlands because our old camper van was due her mechanical safety inspection. We were confident we would pass as our old 1983 Mercedes 207D camper van had brought us successfully from Amsterdam to Portugal and back without any issues whatsoever. Okay, the exhaust fell off. But aside from that, the van drove like it would go on forever. Unfortunately, the safety inspector's verdict burst our happy bubble. Our van even though it drove like a champ, was suffering from rust all over. And worst of all, the bottom's chassis needed welding. A lot of it. You guys want to hear first? <laughs> the bad news 
but a really bad news. <laughs> All right, uh, Penelope is is uh, not approved for the road, yeah. and there's a list. Yeah. yeah, a list, a long list. Yeah. The steering wheel has wear and tear. <laughs> Uh, the brake delay is not sufficient. It's, uh, the brake lines are rusted. The hand brake is not sufficient. The numbers from the, from the license plate yes. are not very good readable. There is rust damage mm. uh, where I get into the van and the, and the driver's side where I put my foot on. There's a lot of <laughs> rust. Mm -hmm. yes. That needs to be welded. Oh yeah, oh, sorry. That's the I'm now. Uh, uh, that's the really bad news. I I should say. Yeah. But we're coming to that. But mm -hmm. the rust where I get in, there's rust damage. The carrier beams. I hope I say that correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, front is bad. Back really bad. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. said really bad. Needs to be welded. Yep. That's also the really bad news. Uh, the blinkers. They don't work. Hmm. The city light doesn't work. Welding, which is the really bad bad news. Uh, he says you're looking at uh, about thousand euros, if not more, if you're mm. lucky. Yes. Uh, so that's the bad bad news because together that's like fourteen hundred fifty euros or sixteen hundred fifty euros to do everything. Mm. Now. That's that kind of money. That's all. That almost buys you a new camper. <laughs> yeah. Take into account this is almost a fourth year, and mm. we we come mm. through the first two checkups really cheaply. Yeah. So this Pretty. is the first time that we're a bit less lucky. We have two weeks to fix all this. The the verdict seems yeah. to be that. Because our digital nomad work had still not yet increased by our third year of van life, we had been living the camper van life on a shoestring budget. So it became heartbreakingly clear to us that we would not be able to get all the welding taken care of, that our van so desperately needed. It meant having to say farewell to our beloved camper van, Penelope, that had been with us from the start of our RV adventure. Was this the end of our van life? It was almost the end of 2019 already, before we finally found a replacement camper van. It looked nice inside and outside and drove well. Yep. And it drives super, I uh, must say. Yeah. We found another one. Yeah. This might be the one. Yes, might be the one. Let's seal the deal. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's exciting, but very. It yeah. drives. It drives good. Yeah. That's the most important part. Yep. This has strong engine. It's fast. Fast, but it's well, well, so I got a good feeling about it. Mm -hmm. What do you pay for? Yeah, I do too. It uh -huh. is everything we need. So out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> My penny. My penny. Mm. She still drives like champs. Hope she finds a home very soon. And even though our van turned out to be a heavy smoker, <laughs> wow! Luckily, there's no one beside us. <laughs>
once the engine is warm enough the smoke goes away so that's that's nice Maybe we should call her Smokey instead of Spinny. So, why said a little smoke? We knew winter was coming. So we quickly decided it would be best for us to take our chances with a new van and drive back to Portugal. But this time, before we took off, we first had a little shopping to do. What is that? Solar panel. Wow, 100 mm. watts solar panel. But no solar. At least we got the box of a solar panel. <laughs> At least, yes. I'm sure it's in here. <laughs> yes, buddies, we're now the proud owner. Of our newest pet, new addition to the Pedapat Squad. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Plug and play. It's plug and play. Okay. I'm not too agile. <laughs> it's charging, buddies. It's working. With the solar panel on board, we would finally be independent of the electricity grid and be able to stay on more free campsites than before. It was the best buy we ever made. Because when we were in the middle of Spain, we finally got the news we had been longing for since the start of our RV life. We finally landed a digital nomad job. There was even work for both of us. It was a huge international transcription project that would stretch out over the months of November and December, even halfway into January. I've been the first to congratulate you, Petra. Thank you. <laughs> yes, um, uh, yeah, I get myself a digital nomad dop. Dop. Can you a new dop? <laughs> Transcribing interviews. So yeah. Exciting! We're here! Hello, buddies! Bovera! Mm. But what a nice... What a nice place this is! We're glad we came back here! When it's quiet, it's very nice! It is. Here we are! This is our work setup! Mm -hmm. Got Petra's laptop today with my... Um, headphones! Mm -hmm. Mm. What do you have you got? You got headphones too? Like a your headphone, uh, your uh, computer. So, how do you like being back in the workforce? Uh, awesome. Do you feel, how do you feel, uh, what, you notice a difference? Waking up knowing there's no work or waking up that you can go to work? Mm. Uh, yes. It's nice. Uh, you uh, feel like uh, yeah, you uh, get a purpose again. Mm. Mm. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you like me helping you out with your job? Mm, of course. Uh, this is a big assignment, so I need uh, every help I can get. You can count on me. <laughs> Pet is here for you. Awesome. So we both worked 10 hour days for almost two and a half months. We even worked right through the Christmas holiday and the new year. And we were so happy to do it. To finally have some work and a payday in sight. We ended 2019 better than we could have ever imagined. We were back in Portugal with a ton of work on our hands. 
We were confident that the upcoming year 2020, our fifth year of fan life, would finally be the year wherein we were no longer struggling financially. Yes. It's a... We made the deadline. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Hello. We wished for... Yes. Do you remember what it was? A uh, solar panel. A solar panel. The lens is being cleaned. <laughs> and we got one. Yeah. And since then, it's been heaven. Yes. Everything I could think of to try out on the laptop, mm -hmm. which the Goal Zero and solar panel setup worked. Yep. The 100 watt solar panel keeps the 400 watt Goal, goal zero. zero and the mm. solar panel is also Goal Zero so it's plug play. Yep. Mm. Keeps it topped off. Yep. <laughs> Superb. If we have the solar panel and the sun is out, Ideal. Mm. we no longer need to plug in. Nope. No more, literally no more ball and chain. Mm. We are the masters of our own power as long as the sun keeps shining. Shun. Shun. <laughs> so, let us turn around. Yes. So, buddies. Hello. It's for us now we're in early January mm -hmm. 2020. 2020. Yeah. What, what are we wishing for? We already got work. Um, we got work. Yes. Mm -hmm. awesome. We can wish for more work. Let's do that. Let's wish yes. for more work. Definitely. Yeah, we could wish for a good uh, checkup mm. of the van in yeah. July. We we'll only have to be back in July in the Netherlands. Yep. This yes. time we can stay here till it's summer in the Netherlands and just mm -hmm. swing by for the checkup, unless we have the checkup done in Spain. Yes. Anything else mm. to wish for? Uh. Maybe mm. uh, that we get uh, our Chinese shop list done. Yeah, that's a good thing to wish for too. Well, mm. check in later, buddies. Mm -hmm.